Now the men's 200 meters is up next. We've got an open lane in one with the rest of them full. And in the middle of the track is going to be lane five. And LaShawn Merritt of the United States, the 31-year-old who is usually running the 400, but here tonight in the deuce. There is LaShawn in the purple. And in all of your years of covering, of being a part of this sport of track and field, what do you think about this man and what he's, what he's done so far? Uh, he's, he's, he, I remember when he just came out of high school, and it, he was he was a phenom, and he ran in, indoors, and he ran 44.9, I believe it was. And, and then uh, a few weeks later, Ron Clement ran fast, and he just knew the, the stars were coming from a different age. And I was, I was the middle of my career, and he's, he's still going at his age, which is impressive. A 31-year-old sprinter is not, it's not easy to come, from, come by. Well, oftentimes we see LaShawn paired up against Karani James in the 400. Of course, Karani not here, recovering, hoping that good health is on the way for him. But Merritt now stepping down to the 200. And of course, this being the off year, no Worlds or Olympics, you can do some different things. And so there is Merritt in lane five as we get ready to take it a look at the rest of the field. Down in lane two, we've got Winston George of Guyana, Chris Belcher of the United States in three. Trentavious Friday in lane four of the United States. Of course, we mentioned there's Chris Belcher of the United States. That's Friday. Coming back from the hunt. And Merritt getting it stretched out. That 31-year-old body has been through a lot of track and field battles. He's been amazing on the world and Olympic stage. And what I always love about LaShawn is he's not afraid to show up anywhere and run and run against somebody. Absolutely. Justin Walker is out there in lane six, the United States. Emmanuel Callender and Winston George round out the field. Walker coming back from an impressive 100 meter win. So we'll see how that helps him here in the 200. There is Callender. As we mentioned, quite a few athletes from the Caribbean have come to, to come to Grenada tonight to compete. I got and from yeah, Diana, Winston George, as mentioned before. On your marks. We got young Carlos in lane two, so we'll see one, what one. he has. Uh, he didn't show much in the 100. Yeah, wasn't time. wasn't expecting that, but this is his race, the 200. He's, he ran a couple weeks ago in Florida Relays 2050, so hopefully he can give LaShawn a little run for his money. And what do you like about the young man in terms of his talent and ability? No, he's a fighter. He's a young talent. We found him a few years ago uh, just trying to play baseball. I realized <laughs> baseball isn't for him. And he's, he's become a track star. He's the current 100-meter, 200-meter uh, record holder in the Dominican Republic. And he has a bright future. You had something to do with that? Yeah, a little bit to do. <laughs> just trying to get some talent going in the Dominican Republic because there's, there's plenty of it. That's awesome. Okay, so men's 200 meters, Giancarlos Martinez, as Felix was just talking about in lane two, Chris Belcher in three of the United States, Trentavious Friday of the United States in four, LaShawn Merritt in five, Justin Walker in six, Emmanuel Callender of the Trinidad and Tobago in seven, and Winston George of Guyana in eight. Set! And I'm surprised it was not a second gun because I thought I saw movement there, but LaShawn Merritt, is now making his way around the curve in this men's 200 meters, rather even as they come off the turn. And now the big, strong, powerful frame of LaShawn Merritt beginning to pull away, showing the power. Merritt coming to the line, winning the 200 in Grenada. Boy, how about that power at the end? Yeah, I mean, it almost looked like he was struggling to stay in his lane on the curve. He's, he's definitely a lot stronger this year now why do you think the confused look is he not happy with the time i don't think he's happy with the time one <laughs> bit he's, he, i'm sure he felt like he ran really hard to just go 2057 <laughs> he, he's like something's not right here going back to the start something wasn't right but here's the finish what did you see here? yeah he's pulling away that's just the 400 meter strength again and those certain events is looking around looking to his right but certain events, like when you come, cut them in half, 400-meter runners and 200, they, they have the foot speed like 
like he has, you're going to pull away. You're, I will not pull away. You're going to decelerate less. Watch this. Did we see somebody move before? Look, look. He uh, didn't, he didn't hit the signal. Set. So Merritt was That's down why. and didn't hear it. There we go. He was like, wow. what? They didn't even wait for me to get set. And he still won. <laughs> And oh, so boy. if you can take away from that, it may be a moment like this where you learn that no matter where you are, you could yeah. be at the Worlds or Olympics yeah. or in the trials or what have you, if something doesn't go right, get you up just, and run anyway. Yeah, just go. Just go. All right. Let's find that from LaShawn. <laughs> I actually just found out some very in, in, interesting information. What happened at that start? So he he said in March, we said set, but it wasn't on the mic. It was just his mouth. Oh. And I saw people get up. So I didn't even, I never came up to a set position. I came from here, I came up a little bit and just took off. But, uh, but, I'm, I didn't even come up. <laughs> You're the consummate professional and yesterday you told me that you were working on very brand new 200 meter sprint mechanics versus your 400 meter rhythm and upright running. How do you assess that race? Uh, it could have been better had I got from the, got out from the beginning but i got around the curve and transitioned well finished up injury free got the win so i'm pleased your new training partner justin gatton is about to run the 100 meters and you said to me that he is teaching you how to be a sprinter how advantageous is that going to be for 2018 you know what uh we're working hard we put in about two good workouts together a week you know so he's learning a little bit from me i'm learning a lot from him and he's ready to run today, so I wish him the best. Go enjoy this. Thank you. Lewis. All right, Joe, that's great insight from LaShawn Merritt about uh, what happened at the start. Of course, we saw it, but nothing like hearing it from him. And then also hearing about his training with Justin Gatlin and how they're feeding off of each other, these two veterans. What do you make of that? No, it's great. I mean, when you when you get a certain age, you, you, you can train with someone that's your age that's going through the same things, the issues, the rest, the training smarter instead of harder, the nagging injuries. He's coming from a situation where he's been there for a while. 